My name is Jonathan Torres Tomas, and I'm a rising sophomore studying computer science and economics. And I'll quickly pass it along to the rest of my team to introduce themselves quickly before we get started, starting with Sophia. Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm a rising junior from Jersey, and I'm currently studying computer science and visual media studies. I'll pass it on to Alicia. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm a rising sophomore, and I'm studying computer science. I'll pass it on to Dassel. Hi, I'm Dassel. I'm a rising junior studying computer science and psychology. I'll pass it off to Akram. Hi, everyone. I'm Akram. I'm also a rising junior studying computer science, and I'll pass it on to Johnny. Hello, everyone. I'm Johnny, also a rising junior studying computer science. I'm going to pass it back to the presenter. Yeah, and uh, first off, a, a huge thank you to our team leads, um, Sandra, Eric, and Todd. They have been such a huge help, such a huge help this summer, and uh, they've also been a huge source of support uh, throughout our journey. And also a big thank you to our stakeholders, uh, Dr. Yu, Mr. Gomes, Dr. Bass, Dr. Board, Ms. Margitic, Dr. Wong, and Ms. Beaver for providing valuable input uh, throughout our journey. And so uh, in this presentation, uh, we'll be starting off with a project overview, followed by site issues we've encountered along the way, uh, next design, and then implementation, and then next steps, and then finally ending with the conclusion. And I'll pass it on over to Sophia here, where she'll talk about the project and what it is. I will be going over the overview of the project. So academicjobsonline.org is a job postings website run by Dr. Yu, who is an, an IT senior, uh, senior IT analyst at Duke. And the website is used by thousands of users ranging from job applicants to employers. And it is specifically required for Duke faculty to be hired. It is slightly outdated, but our goal was to revamp the website so that it is more intuitive to use and pleasing to look at while maintaining the efficiency and functionality of the website. Regarding the traffic of the website, there are employers from over 42 countries, thousands of unique users and applicants, thousands of job ads and postings, and thousands of monthly site visits. For our objective, our aim or long-term goal was to revamp the whole website for users to efficiently navigate their way around applying for and employing jobs. And for our short-term goals, we hope to clearly implement our designs and code by improving design features that better fit user experience standards while making sure to consider accessibility features as well. Now I'll pass it on to Alicia to talk about the site issues. So we've met our stakeholders who are faculty and staff here at Duke and who has interacted with this website as different account types and got their input on issues that they encountered on this website. By combining these stakeholder inputs and our thoughts about this website after testing it ourselves, we identified problems that we wanted to fix during our redesign of, of this website. The first issue is the various types of emojis and icons that appear throughout the website. Some of them have a description of their functions when you hover over them, and some, some don't even have that. It is really confusing to use because it's hard to know and remember what each of them does. Second issue comes from the search features. Take this applicant search, for example. Here, the name of the applicant is a link to the applicant's profile. When an employer clicks on this link, it will open up a different tab for the profile. And here, as you can see, the applicant uploaded multiple documents with the application. And again, when you click on each of the documents, it'll open up as a different tab. It is really inconvenient to conduct searches while having to constantly switch between tabs. Aside from these two biggest issues, there are also some others that were brought up. For example, no saving or grouping feature on the search pages, hard to switch between accounts if someone has multiple, and having to input text on forms directly in HTML and Perl components. We are going to talk about how we addressed or are going to address these issues we identified afterwards in the presentation. And right now I'm going to pass it on to Dassel to talk about the designing phase of the project. So I'll talk about the, some of the tech that we used and in addition to the design. So some of the tools that we used included Figma, GitHub, GitLab, React, JavaScript, and HTML and CSS. And the majority of our team didn't have any experience in these softwares and languages before. So we did a lot of learning in the first couple of weeks. And for our brand guide, we wanted to keep the main maroon red that AJO originally had, but we added the two shades of blue to complement these colors. And then our fonts were Libra Baskerville and Lado. 
And so this is our design kind of the before and after of the homepage. We wanted to kind of declutter the space a little with all the links on the left side. So we made the about section its own tab on the nav bar. And then we kind of wanted to highlight the login button and the quick search for job. For our job list test search page, this is one of like the most heavily changed pages. We wanted to have that kind of split screen so it's easy to see jobs, but also have the job info instead of opening new tabs for everyone. And we also try to clean up the filter searches a little bit. And then for lists, again, we just wanted to clean it up a little. So instead of having everything left aligned, we spaced it out a little into the table format. And lastly, for forms, again, we wanted to make it a little bit more digestible. So we spaced things out more and created divisions. And now I'll pass it off to Johnny to talk a little bit more about the implementation. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to be talking about the implementation that we've had on the development site. Um, we're going to have a demo, but before that, um, in the demo, you're going to see like the demo of the development site, as well as like a before, like real time a screen of the old site, sort of like moving through the same pages to see a good comparison. So here is the demo. Just one second. Oh, sorry about that, guys. We're just uh, fixing some audio issues. It'll be up. Here, the whole page is much more clean with a search bar here and an advanced search as well. We also added some stats. My name is Johnny, and this is the Academic Jobs Online Interface Modernization Project. This is the dev site that we've been working on for the past 10 weeks. And as you can see here, the homepage is much more clean with a search bar here and an advanced search as well. We also added some stats to showcase the scope of the site as well, and also showcase some appreciation to our employers. We also included news and announcements to showcase any updates and a footer as well to make easy navigation. We also included a new about us section because the previous about us section was in the homepage and it looked very cluttered. And here's a view jobs page, which is very important for job applicants to look for jobs. We added a new feature here on the right that's a split screen feature that allows easy job search without users having to you know, have multiple windows open for different jobs. We also made the filters here much more obvious and much more button looking. And then here is the registered employers page and we went for a um, table layout, you know, to have, to have it very easy and very organized for the users. And then here's the contact us page. We didn't do much here just because it was already functional. We just made it look much more aesthetic and much more modern. Going on to the different logins, there's four, but we want to showcase the job applicants for the purposes of this demo. So upon logging in, you're greeted with various different options here. Um, one of the first options being the cover sheet. Here you're able to you know, uh, update your cover sheet as well as any like information that you think is important. We wanted to go for a much less cluttered design and we included this like drop down feature that allows the sections to be collapsed when you're not actively um, adding anything there. So going back here, um, you're also able to add any documents such as cover letters, publication lists, and you're also even able to add your own as well. And let's say somebody wanted to apply for a job, they can simply hit apply, you know, update their cover sheet if they think it's necessary, and then just hit submit. But that's our demo, thank you for watching.
All right, but I hope you all enjoyed the demo. Um, now, moving on to the challenges we face while uh, implementing on the development site. First and foremost, like uh, some of the team, some of the team members mentioned, uh, we were very new to like this whole space and like web development, and also the language that the site was made in Perl was unfamiliar to us. So we had to like look up documentation, look up like user guides, etc. Additionally, the source code was very complex. You know, we didn't have access to most of the files just because Dr. Yu, the maintainer and creator of the site, didn't want to like, I guess, um, you know, make us feel like overwhelmed. He wanted us to work on like pages that, you know, were important. So we kind of went bit by bit, but there are just so many pages that we couldn't really get to everything. Um, additionally, there wasn't as much documentation on the on the source code as we would have liked, which made things um, a little tough when implementing. You know, we had to test line by line what the different uh, pieces of code we're doing to kind of see how it all interacted. And we would make small changes and kind of build on those to implement bigger changes. Additionally, um, without like the documentation and um, useful variable names, you know, some variables just had like letters or like a couple letters and it wasn't very descriptive. So that was sort of a challenge as well. And then for the last challenge, just like the time constraints, you know, with the code complexity and how big the project was, we couldn't get to everything, but um, Akram is gonna speak on that and how we plan to um, continue this project. Okay, thanks, Johnny. Now I'm gonna talk about our next steps for the project. Uh, but before that, I would like to mention our like inventory page. Uh, as, you, as you guys have seen, AJO is a very vast website with more than 135 pages. And in the past 10 weeks, we've done a lot of redesigning and implementation onto the developer site. Throughout this process, we've used our inventory sheet. It's been a very valuable tool for us for planning our approach as well as tracking our progress. Um, we've also included some notes as well as uh, bugs that we, uh, that, that we have on the website for doctor use purposes. And moving forward uh, onto the next slide, you might be wondering, what happens to this project after Code Plus ends? Like what happens to our work? The first thing we'll be doing is we're gonna be handing off our inventory sheet, which includes the notes and the bugs to Dr. Yu. We're also gonna be passing our code with some comments and some kind of documentation, as well as the feedbacks and inputs that we got from all the stakeholder meetings. And uh, Dr. Yu is also gonna be Im gradually implementing the changes into the actual site in the next six months. And finally, uh, he plans to implement a toggle feature that lets users switch between the old and new version. This helps ease the transition and compare the two uh, looks and get feedback from users. Now I'm, I'll pass it on to Jonathan. Yes, so, yes, so thank you all so much for bearing with us through the small technical difficulties and giving us your time of day uh, to allow us to present uh, the work that we've done so far this summer. Uh, as you guys have all noticed, uh, redesigning academic jobs online has been no easy job, but luckily we've been more than up to the task. Uh, thanks again, and if you guys have any questions, we'll be more than happy to take them now. <laughs> 